for you. From the cereal you can eat out of the bowl or out of the box, the cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Sugar Pop! Today, Kellogg's Sugar Pops, the cereal with the sweetening already on it, brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingle. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, Broken Wheel Grade. On to your hats, Wranglers, because I'm here to tell you how you, that's right, you, can be the guest of Guy and Andy at Cheyenne, Wyoming Frontier Days this summer. It won't cost you a cent. All your expenses, the trip to Cheyenne, your hotel room, your meals, they're all going to be free. And that's only part of it. There's more, lots more. And I'll be back to tell you all about it in just a few minutes. <laughs> Running and building of the railroads gave the United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his big deputy Jingles a man-sized and dangerous job. They were crooked men ready to prey on the big money that followed along with the iron horse. One of their most hair-raising exploits came with the explosion on Broken Wheel Grade. Keep feeding that boiler, Figger. Keep feeding it nothing. Company's got too many cars on this run. We'll never make it over Broken Wheel Grade this time. Ah, oh, quit your belly, Figger. You let the company take care of its business, and you keep that fire hot. Nah, this old sea kettle's going to blow some booze before we get over the hump. <laughs> ah, he ain't playing none yet. I'll get it over Broken Wheel Grade twice a week, don't I? What do you mean you do? I'm the one that's breaking his back feeding that hungry boiler. Takes a cord of wood an hour near about. Oh, we got the wood. Or to her. There, she's full now. Hot! Whistle for the brakes. Look at that water gate, you old fool. Let me at that whistle. Yeah, Finger, what are you doing her? Look at that gate, I said. Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, you splinter headed galoot. You're the one that's blowing through. Come back here. Finger! <laughs> Relief car from the train wreck. Yeah, Jingles. Whole town of broken wheels been waiting for it all morning. Yeah, Bill, and there's been plenty of talk, too. What's this about low water in the boiler blowing her up? When the water gets low in the steam boiler, it's apt to explode, that's all. Well, that's what the fireman said happened, didn't he? Fellow named Clinker, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. But it doesn't seem like Pop Dolan to let a thing like that happen. But. How are you going to find out about that silver bullion shipment, Bill? Maybe we'll find out something now, Jingles. Here comes John Phillips. Who's he? Railroad superintendent. Hello, Bill. Hello there, Mr. Phillips. This is my partner, Jingles. Hello, Jingles. Howdy, Mr. Phillips. Uh, well, what's making you so nervous? Never mind, Jingles. Well, I can't help but notice when he's as skittish as a two-year-old colt in a rattler's den. Yeah, Jingles is right, Bill. We haven't heard a thing about what happened to the silver bullion shipment. Hmm, that's bad. Sure is. It's worse than that. The mail car was smashed to matchwood, and we haven't found a trace of the bullion. I'm afraid it's gone. What's going on? Pop Dolan, the engineer, getting off that relief car, Bill. We'll see you at the office later, Mr. Phillips. I want to get a word with Pop Dolan. All right, Bill, I'll wait there. Come on, Jingles, I want to talk to Pop. Right with you, Bill. Come on, let us through, folks. Let oh. us through. Hello there, Pop. Well, I'm doggone if it ain't Wild Bill Hickok. Hello, Bill. Congratulations on being alive, Pop. And Jingles. Oh, my day. You're still bigger than that boiler that blew up, Jingles. <laughs> <laughs> now you quit who on me, Pop. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, we're sure glad to see you alive and kicking. Well, it's a miracle, Jingles. Aside from me being the toughest engineer that ever pulled a throttle. <laughs> and, uh, Bill. Yeah, Pop? Come closer. I got something I want to tell you. All right, Pop. What all is right, it? All right, all right. Clear out, all of you. Uh-oh. It's Spike Nelson. Hey, you stranger. Get away from Pop Dolan. Nobody sees Pop until after the investigation of the wreck. Now move along. Now just a minute, you overbearing thunderhead. Get out of my way, Lord Farrell. Oh, you hit me in the stomach. Easy, Jingles, easy. 
Maybe I got a right here, mister. Here's my badge. Ah, badge, eh? All right, so you're a U.S. Marshal. That don't mean nothing to me. This is railroad business, not law business. When I say nobody sees Pop Dolan, I mean it. Ah, you big blowhard. What's that? I'll show you. You'll you... show nobody nothing, mister. Oh, it's a fight you want, you stupid law No, oh, but I think it's time you did some listening. Yeah. Woo-wee, that sure sat him down, Bill. Well, some gents just insist on being unmannerly. Didn't know you was Wild Bill Hickok, I reckon. Why you two heroes think somebody should be scared of you is more than I can see? Come on, Puff. You're going with me. All right, I'll go with you, Spike. But I got something to tell Wild Bill first. Go ahead, Pop. I'm listening. Now, Bill, listen to me. Everybody's blaming me for that wreck, but I didn't do it. The last thing I saw on that engine was the water gauge. And it was right on the mark. I swear it. Then she blew sky high. Wranglers, this summer, how'd you like to see a real honest-to-goodness rodeo? The greatest rodeo of them all, Cheyenne, Wyoming, Frontier Days, with all kinds of roping, riding, parades, and real live Indians, and see it all free without it costing you anything, and ride along with Guy and Andy. Then give a listen while Charlie here tells you all about it. All you do is send in a name for Andy Devine's new ranch. Just send the name for Andy Devine's ranch along with your own name and address and one box top from Kellogg Sugar Pops, large or regular size, to Rodeo Contest, Box 749, Chicago 77, Illinois. And say the two grand prize winners who'll be the guests of Guy and Andy will each also get a big 27-inch screen Bendix television set. And that's not all. There are 608 prizes in all, including many other big screen Bendix television sets and Bendix clock radios. So get your entries in today, because this contest closes two weeks from today, April 15th. That address is Rodeo Contest, R-O-D-E-O Contest, Box 749, Chicago 77, Illinois. Get yourself a handy entry blank from your grocer. Send as many entries as you like, but be sure to enclose one Kellogg Sugar Pops box top with each name. Entries will be judged on originality, sincerity, and aptness. Pop Dolan's last words to Wild Bill Hickok gave Bill something to think about But he would have done some more thinking If he could have heard Spike Nelson in the gambling hall an hour later Hey, Clinker, you slab-sided, bungling idiot You know Pop Dolan wasn't supposed to come out of that engine cab alive But Spike, killing ain't my line You do what I tell you to do if you want to keep your health well, I knew that boiler was going to blow up. I wanted to save my skin. I ain't so sure you saved it. And that was a fool play you made, taking a poke at Wild Bill Hickok. He ain't nobody to throw a switch on. Now, Hickok, don't scare me. That tin badge marshal had better stick to his hay burners. He's off his track messing with railroaders. I don't know about that now. A slug from Wild Bill's six-gun can put a railroader out quick as it can kill a rustler. Just remember that, Spike. Don't tell me what to remember. I'm doing all right so far, and I'm going to do better. Maybe so, but watch out for Hickok just the same. Shut up. The next time you'd better do as I tell you, you'll find that Hickok ain't got the only six-gun that can put people to sleep. Hoping you and Jingles could make it over here soon. Anything new, Mr. Phillips? Ah, uh, not a thing. No sign of the bullion shipment was found in the wreck. What about the investigation? Well, Pop Dolan stuck to his story that the boiler wasn't dry. What about the farmer? Yeah, what that fellow Clinker had to say. Clinker testified that when he checked the water gauge, it read empty. That's when he yelled a warning to Pop and jumped. And it's Pop's word against Clinker's, and right now it looks like Clinker has the edge. Yeah, that's right. Bill, I don't like this whole business. Now, give me a horse or a freight wagon with a hitch of good mules. It's worse than you think, Jingles. If the mines can't ship their bullion without losing it, they'll shut down, and this town of Broken Wheel will be wiped off the map. Oh, poor old Pop Dolan. He's sure taking it hard. That's right, partner. The disgrace will kill old Pop unless we can turn up something on that bullion. You've got to help us, Bill. I mean to if I can. Well, come on, Jingles. We'll ride out to the scene of the wreck and nose around. Oh, now, Bill, this ain't no business for us. 
Let's go chase down 50 or 60 rustlers and leave these snorting iron horses to railroad men before one blows up in our face. Bill, it sure didn't take these section hands long to start laying a new piece of track, did it? Sure didn't, Jingles. You know, they got to get the trains running again. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa, Joker, whoa. Let's get off and look around. Whoa, dog hunter. Now, Joker, Joker don't like that snorting engine over there, Bill, and I don't blame him. There's what's left of Pop's engine, partner. Jumping tumbleweeds ain't that a mess. Whole sides blasted out of the boiler. Look at all the cordwood. That's the wood from the tender. We might look it over, too. What for? It's nothing but wood. We can't afford to miss anything, Jinx. Hey, Hickok, what are you doing snooping around here? Bill, it's that Spike Nelson he had a fight with in town. That clinker, the fireman, with him. Handle him easy, Jingles. Maybe he's learned something. Yeah, if he had, that Henri Salamander wouldn't tell us. He might, if we caught him off guard. Now, you heard me, Marshal. You ain't got no business snooping around on railroad property. No harm, man, Spike. We came out at the request of your superintendent, Mr. Phillips, to have a look around. Phillips, eh? Well, I'm in charge here, and I'll say who comes and goes from this wreck. Now get off and stay off, Oh, you let me take him, Bill. Easy, Jingles, easy. We didn't come out here to start a fight. Well, you're liable to get one. Now, Spike, I wouldn't go asking for nothing from Hickok. Shut up, I Clinker. Was... I know what I'm doing. I'm not taking nothing from a couple of saddle tramps. Now, hold on, you jug-headed brother to a blue-nosed mule. You can't talk to Wild Bill like that. Hold it, Jingles. Hold it. Yeah, yeah, you better <laughs> shut up that talapot, Hickok. <laughs> no need to get so fired up, Spike. Jingles and I'll just take a quick look into that big toolbox over there, and then we'll be on our way. You won't take a quick look at nothing, you hear? You've gone too far now, Spike Nelson. If Bill wants to look into that box, he's going to. And I think I'll take myself just a little peek right now. It's your last move. I'll bash your thick head in with this sledgehammer. Look out, Jingles. Spike, stop. Pick out going to shoot. Oh, I warned you, Spike. Wild Bill shot that hammer handle right in two. Yeah, that ain't going to help him none. I'll take the varmint, Bill. No, 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 Jingles. I think we know what we need to know right now. Come on, you guys. Run these two boiler heads out of here. All right, come on. Bill, he's got his whole crew behind him. Yeah, you got now stand and fight, and I'll beat you within an inch of your life. It wouldn't prove anything, Spike. Thanks for your help. Come on, Jingles, let's head back to town. Doggone it, just when I was ready to take him apart, too. Yeah, you better run, your tin horn snooper. And don't let me catch you around here again. I'll be catching up with you later, Spike. We can settle anything you've got in mind then. Come on, partner, let's ride. We've got a lot of work to do. Hi, Buckshot. Ah, Jeff, Joker, Bill's got something on his mind. Ho, ho, ho! But Bill... If you think you've got something, why don't you just go out and round up the men that did it? In my business, you've got to have proof, Mr. Phillips, and I think I can get it this way, with your help. You better go along with Bill, Mr. Phillips. Yeah, all right. You want a special train to run over that broken wheel grade tonight? Yeah, the tracks will be open by then. And you want a rumor started that there's a bullion shipment to be on the train, too? Mm-hmm, a big bullion shipment. Yeah, I understand. Pop Dolan's been suspended from his job. I don't know about him taking the run. He's got to take it. Same crew, Pop Dolan and Clinker. Oh, all right, Bill, if you say so. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Uh, who else is going? Well, there's me and Bill. We'll be sitting on that steam wagon like two sparrows sitting on a lighted firecracker. That's right. Yeah, and maybe we'll get shot before she blows up. That's about our only <laughs> chance. <laughs> then make it three sparrows, Jingles. I don't know what Wild Bill's got up his sleeve, but I wouldn't miss it for a division on the Santa Fe. Good. Have your train ready to roll just after dark, and make sure the whole town thinks this special run is loaded with silver bullion. All right, Pop, take her away, and good luck. All right, Bill. You better get on, Bill. Not yet, Jingles. Better get started. We'll look on the tender. Be ready to jump. Yeah, we're ready, ain't we, Mr. Phillips? Yeah, haven't done this since it was a brakeman. All right, now. Come on. 
Doggone me. Doggone me. Bucking like an outlaw to rodeo. Yeah, just hang on, Jingles. She'll settle down. All right, now you all know what to do when the time comes. Yes, and I hope it works. Yeah, it better work, doggone it. Right on time, too, or we'll all be blown to kingdom come. <laughs> Wranglers, hurry and send those names for Andy's new ranch right away before this big Kellogg Sugar Pops rodeo contest ends. I know you don't want to miss out on all the thrills and excitement of Cheyenne, Wyoming frontier days this summer. You'll see cowpokes doing tricks you never believe possible. You'll see wild bucking broncos and real live Indians. And you'll see all this action up front with Guy and Andy without you paying a cent. So hurry and send your name for Andy's new ranch along with your own name and address and one box top from Kellogg's Sugar Pops, large or regular size, to Rodeo Contest, Box 749, Chicago 77, Illinois. And remember, besides the free trip to Cheyenne Frontier Days as guests of Guy and Andy, the two grand prize winners also each get a big 27-inch screen Bendix television set. And there are many more prizes, 608 in all, including other big-screen Bendix television sets and Bendix clock radios. That address is Rodeo Contest. That's R-O-D-E-O Contest, Box 749, Chicago 77, Illinois. Send as many entries as you like, but be sure to enclose one Kellogg Sugar Pops box top with each name. But send your names for Andy's new ranch in today. You can get a handy entry blank with all the rules from your grocer. Wild Bill had decided to make his last play to trick the bandits into showing their hand. So when the train began to near Broken Wheel Grade, he called for the next move. He's uh, starting to slow down. We're beginning to climb up Broken Wheel Grade, Bill. Then we better make a move. About time we've been hanging on the back of this cinder bucket for hours. <coughs> Smelliest ride I ever had. We'll climb over the tender. Then you stay on top, Mr. Phillips. Jingles will go down the cab with me. We got you, Bill. Lead on. Here we go. Watch your step now, Jingles. I'm going to watch it, Bill. Just keep out of my way now. You said, Mr. Phillips? Sure, Bill. I'll keep watch up here. Come on, Jingles. We'll get clinker. Hey, who? Here, car I want you up back at the station. Hi, Bill. Wondered when you're going to make yourself known. What's going on here? You'll find out soon enough, clinker. Now, first, I'll just handcuff you to this eyeball. Hey, what's going on here? Turn me loose. I gotta feed the fire box. Jingles will spell you for a while, sure. Clinker. You just take it easy. <laughs> Better get to work, Jingles. We'll never make this grade. Yeah. Woo wee, that looks hot enough to me. Throw that wood, Jingles. Doggone it, Pop. Can't you hold this monster still? I can't hit that furnace. Try it again, Jingles. Here's one of those big pieces sitting over there on the side. No, don't use those. No, why not, Clinker? Yeah, Clinker, what's the matter with these big ones? Don't use them. They're, 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 they're wet. Well, now they don't feel wet to me. They're wet, I tell you. Oh, they'll burn all right. Go ahead, Jingles. Throw it in the fire. Okay, Bill. Now, here goes. No, no, no. Don't throw that one. I... I'll, I'll, I'll talk. I'll, I'll tell you everything. What's that he's saying, Bill? He says he'll tell us everything, Pop. Then he better start talking. Those two big chunks of wood are, are loaded with enough gunpowder to blow this train to scrap iron. Oh, so that's how he blew up that other engine. Spike Nelson made me do it. I didn't want to. He made me. You hear that, Mr. Phillips? Yeah, Bill, I heard it all. We going through with the rest of your plan, Bill? Sure, Jingles. You just keep pouring wood on that fire. Pop? Chug on up this grave. Don't worry, Bill. Better hurry, though. We're almost to the place where we got blown up last night. All right, I found the fuse on this piece of wood. Let me know when. Let it go now, Bill. All right, the fuse is lit. Look out, Jingles. I'm throwing this out on your side. Let her rip, Bill. All right, stop the train, Pop. Here she goes. Keep your head down. Now get those six guns ready for battle, Jingles. Ready, let them come. You all set, Mr. Phillips? Yeah, ready and waiting. Uh, here they come, Bill. Hurry up, you maladies. Find Clinker, get that silver and let's get out of here. Sorry to disappoint you, Spike. Pick up, you dirty double zealot. Look out, Bill! It's a trick. Every man for himself. I'm getting out of here. Not so fast, Spike. I got plans for you. I got two of them, Bill. Holler if you need any help. 
You're not getting me in on any of your plans, Hickok. Your game's up, Spike Nelson. You have to whip me first. Yeah, I can make a try at that, too. Oh. You get him, Bill. Yeah, Jingles. All right, Pop, we'll load these Jaspers and Spike's big toolbox on your train, and you can take us back to town. <laughs> Well, I'll be doggone! I never thought we'd get back to town alive, Bill. It was a close call, all right, partner, but we made it back, got those coyotes in jail to boot. You sure had it figured right, Bill. <laughs> he sure did, Mr. Phillips. And, Bill, I want to thank you for saving my reputation. I've been engineering since I was younger than you, and I never lost an engine before. But how'd you know it was powder in them big pieces of wood, Bill? I got my tip when I saw the wreck, Jingles. That engine was blown up from the firebox, not the boiler. No, I never would have known that. Pouring out logs and planting a charge of gunpowder in them was an old trick Stuart's raiders used to wreck trains during the Civil War, Jinx. But, Bill, we still haven't found the silver bullion. Yeah. Now, why'd you make us cart this old heavy toolbox in here to Mr. Phillips' office? Well, I figured it'd be safer here, Jingles. Break off that lock and lift the lid, will you, partner? Sure, but I don't see any sense of it. That's it. Now, lift the lid. What are you trying to prove, Bill? Yeah, Bill, what's the... Well, what's all the mystery about this box? Well, well, I'll be a pink-toed salamander. Bill, the bullion's in here. That's where I figured Spike hit it, partner. <laughs> oh, no wonder he fought you when you went to open it yesterday. Yeah, and that's when he tipped me off, Mr. Phillips. Well, Jingles, would you like to take a train ride back to Santa Fe? Me? Uh-uh. No, sirree. <laughs> You can have all them snorting, clanging iron horses from now on. I don't care if I never see another one. Joker may be an ornery, stubborn, hammer-headed cayuse, but, well, after tonight, he looks like a four-footed angel to me. (laughs) And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Andy, what's our Wild Bill Hickok story for Friday? Well, it's a story about money, wrestlers, Guy, and it's sure to be an exciting one. So be with us Friday for our adventure of Tarnished Gold. So long, kids. See you Friday. Choo-choo-choo. Choo-choo-choo's your favorite cereal. You tell them, Andy. Yeah, from Kellogg's Variety Pack. Yes, keep the whole family happy every morning for breakfast. Roll out freshness and variety. Ten individual serving size boxes with ten assorted Kellogg's cereal favorites, including two ready-sweetened treats that you get in Kellogg's Variety Pack. Choo-choo-choo's your favorite. From Kellogg's Variety Pack at your grocer's. <laughs> Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Jess Kirkpatrick, Bill Baucom, Leo Curley, Stan Farrar, and Jack Moyles. Our director is Paul Pierce, story by Larry Hayes, music by Dick Arant. This is a David Heyer production, transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals. Reminding you to listen again on Friday, same time, same station, for another adventure of... Wild Bill Hickok!